Hello friends, us here at Anne Bonnie Studios are always trying to push the limit of what is possible for gaming. So today we decided to make a car racing game based on World of Warcraft crazy idea. Now in my last video I did kind of hint that I was working on a racing game however the controls were really not very good so we pivoted into the Red Paladin simulator. However now we uh, expanded our brain and I realized it's a it's a racing game. How hard can it be? We have this card template from the Unreal Engine, uh, just baseline. So it's simple, right? You just have this, you just replace a couple of things and bam, you have a game. I was very, very wrong. So since the base is done, the car is working, we just needed a track. So I decided to pay tribute to the best content in World of Warcraft ever, Torghast. That's right. This is gonna be a Torghast racing simulation. We imported a random level in Torghast. PTSD hit me a little bit. It's great that we're fighting only Retribution Paladins and Warriors in World of Warcraft right now in Arena. So the Shadowlands PTSD is in full swing. We got this chunk of a bridge and I decided to make this the main track. Now the texture was going horizontal so I thought that doesn't look good so I changed the texture on the bridge itself so I took this chunk of road and I made it so that it follows a spline so I could just make the road very easily with a spline and the shape would follow and it looked amazing it was great I, the, I, the car was <laughs> I didn't, something was wrong I had no collision now collision did take me a long time uh, because I, I decided to have custom collision on basically every single object which meant going back into Blender and manually fixing all the collision for all of the objects. I'm not gonna show all of it, but this took me a really long time and I realize now it was not needed. But we got it done. It wasn't exactly perfect. Uh, I actually went back and fixed the collision a million times by the time I finished the game. But this is what we had so far. It was kind of laggy, but it kind of worked out. And now that we can kind of make a road the way we want to, uh, it was time to work on the car. So for the car, I decided to get this demolisher. I wanted to have multiple cars, but I had so much trouble with this one demolisher that at the end of the day, it ended up being the only car available. The problem was in Unreal Engine, the cars are simulated by physics and they have this system called chaos physics. The vehicle itself actually is driven by the wheels rotating, which makes the car move forward. So it's not like fake and there's animation. It's actually the wheels spinning that make the car go forward. This was the start of a lot of unforeseen problems. But right now it worked kind of okay. I was going for a Mario Kart e feeling. I didn't want it to be too realistic. So we had to work with the settings a little bit. We kind of had a decently working demolisher. So that's kind of nice. Next, I made these checkpoints so that in case you fall off the track, which was going to happen all the time, you could press R and it would teleport the car to the last checkpoint. And it was using these arrows here to snap the car's transform to the arrow whenever you press R. The problem is I kind of scaled the arrow up a lot. So <laughs> when I pressed R, I, this is what happened. Very large demolisher game feature, but we fixed that, of course. So now we had a nice functional checkpoint. And with the checkpoint done and the car kind of working, I decided to start working a little bit on the track. I actually did a lot of research about racetracks and a bunch of other games. And for my track, I took a lot of inspiration from Hot Air Skyway from Crash Team Racing and also from Mario Kart Rainbow Road. It's kind of a mix between that. Now, since this is kind of a Mario Kart game, I had to have some sort of power-ups. So I wanted to have a rocket. I wanted to have a sprint, like a nitro. I wanted to have like a banana peel, but it was going to be some goblin landmines. So we had some landmines first. We added those from Wall Model Viewer. And I made it so that when the car goes on top of it, it just launches you in the random direction. You could also do some sick tricks with it kind of and then we had a homing missile system now for the homing missile we had a lot of issues because the homing system was easy to implement but it was not very precise it was kind of like orbiting around its target it would only be reliable if you hit it from really close by i try to make the rocket go slower try to make it go faster eventually we made it work by having it start off really really slow when you launch it so that it actually picks up speed 
towards its target and not has speed straight away, it would still orbit a bunch of times, but I figured if the car is running and moving forward, eventually the orbiting is gonna stop and it's gonna actually hit the correct target, or at least that was my hope. And we moved on to the Nitro Boost. A Nitro Boost, you think it's easy, you just increase the speed. But like I said before, these cars actually worked with real physics. So I had the system grab my car's current velocity and multiply that by 1.1. Not a very crazy increase, right? But it was doing it every frame. So um, a little speed bump became a massive rocket that launched me straight up into space and crashed my computer. But I was just a slight inconvenience. We could definitely fix this. I just made the number even smaller. And whenever I gave it a juice, it would um, still launch me really, really far. <laughs> I don't know, this is kind of difficult to operate. So we made the number even smaller. We went and it still launched me like, like that. So I, something suspicious is happening here. So instead I went to 0 0.01 and 0 0.01, it was very unstable. So it was kind of like flying me around, launching me still pretty fast, not exactly usable. I thought about leaving this as a feature because it was kind of funny, but I couldn't control the direction it was going. It was just going in a random direction. I'm not sure exactly how that works out. Maybe the technology is not there yet. And um, I decided to drop this power completely. And I'm just going to focus on the rocket and the landmine. And that's it. So we made like in Mario Kart some uh, special power-ups that you could collect. You collect the power-ups and you get a random power. Everything was going great. And since this was Torghast, I wanted to make the powers look like the Torghast anima cells. But in WoW Model Viewer, you can't really download those. They look like this, which I don't know how to work with that. So I had to make my own. I tried my best to make it look kind of like that but uh, yeah it didn't exactly work out i guess there'll be a placeholder for now and with all of these being done i decided to start working on the actual track i had a lot of problems with this spline after a while because it wouldn't really twist the way i wanted i wanted to make some nice loops but apparently that's impossible you can't make the road go upside down using these splines we added a couple more elements from torghast like this tower and this little roundabout here and uh, I think I made a pretty interesting track with some nice little jumps. The car was definitely not very stable, but that's why I had checkpoints after every single big jump. The car was really difficult to control. It was really bouncy because I had to make it very light for the, the arcade feel of the game. I didn't want to have a realistic tank. We had our car, we had our powers, we had our track. It was finally time to deal with the big problem multiplayer big problem my problem started when i realized nothing was actually replicating to the client side the mines on the floor were invisible the client thought it has some powers that it didn't I, I could get the rocket and i saw that i have the rocket and the rocket would shoot on the client but the server didn't see that because and since the server doesn't see it the rocket wouldn't actually hit anyone so it was a huge mess a big problem nothing made any sense i didn't even know how to begin to fix some of these issues i tried um so i decided you know what i'm just gonna ignore the problem and instead i'm gonna make torghast more depressing because my track looked pretty good but it was way too happy clouds sunshine no 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 we need sadness sorrow and despair we deleted the lights we added some insane fog so that people don't actually see that the level is kind of empty. We added some chains. We added more props. We added some nice looking cages upside down. And we made it nice and depressing. Perfect. The Torghast I remember. I also added one more power that would give me a shield because I figured these uh, traps are just way too annoying so it would be nice to have an anti-magic shell and single player everything was perfect all the powers were working great there was no lag there was no input delay properly polished video game now in multiplayer it was a complete mess the client and the server would never agree on what powers the other one had so since the server was the one that was actually running the game the client would see things that weren't there the server would tell the client that it has a power the client was like no i have a rocket but it said it had a shield and the client wouldn't see some landmines and some rockets it was a complete disaster i don't even know exactly what i did to fix this it's actually all a blur but i do remember i spent a long time and a couple of days trying to clean this mess up and eventually we got to a point where everyone was kind of agreeing uh, it was it was okay we got it to work somehow and we decided since this is Torghast we should add Sylvanas because Sylvanas lives in Torghast so we imported Sylvanas and we gave her this washing animation I figured you know since her punishment is to be stuck in Torghast 
it would be nice to have her kind of like be the janitor <laughs> of Torghast. So Sylvanas was gonna randomly appear and wash the floor and you we could run her over. It was really nice. And the next step was to add more of them. And then I did the same for this small guard and also Bane Bloodhoof. Uh, as we all know, he was very useless in that whole expansion, but he was there. So I decided to have the same. I had him in the game. He was not on the track, but he was there. Uh, just a little bit of extra, you know, extra lore. We added everyone throughout the level. Couple of guards, couple of Sylvanases and one secret Bane Bloodhoof. And then we also had the system where after three laps, it would show the name of the winner on the screen. Oh, speaking of the names, I spent so much time trying to make these silly names appear on top of the car because uh, you know, yeah, I want to know who everyone is and I want to see who's gonna win and I didn't even record this But this took me like two days and eventually after so much time I managed to call the game instance that would save the name of the logging in client and when they would, they would put the name above their car I have no idea how I did it But eventually I made it so that when you log in if you press N on your keyboard everyone gets their names and it actually worked or so i thought single player in the editor everything was working actually really good and after adding some sounds for the engine and for the power-ups and for the rockets and everything it was finally time to package the game and give it a test run with namsen lots of problems the sound was doubling uh, and yeah, the problem is. was whenever you would press r to spawn back oh. to the checkpoint people would just <laughs> With me. You could just hijack people. You He's could just take me. them away. I I wasn't sure how I to fix this, so I figured that people just surely won't press it at the same time. Also, there was one extra problem, and this was really, really annoying. You can't really see it in the video, but the server that made the game, everything was pretty good and smooth. But for the clients, there was some nasty input delay because Chaos Vehicles in Unreal Engine don't have what it's called a prediction system. And the prediction system in multiplayer is when the client will predict where the server is gonna tell it to move so that the movement is smooth. But since Chaos Vehicles don't have prediction, it was really choppy and it was kind of hard to control. It was really bad for a racing game to not have prediction on your cars. So clients would be kind of struggling to move. <laughs> it's a game feature. Um, so, you know what, the game was done, and it was finally time for game day. So we got everyone together, we got Clack, Uzu, Index, Snackybox, Snoopy, Savix, and we went for a race. Are you guys coming? I don't know, we're just loading. Loading, oh, oh, I mean, what, is Yo. Wait, what is this? <laughs> oh, okay. oh Yo, you okay, actually end, made a end. race track. Wait, it says I'm Clack, what's going on? Wait, why, 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 why is it more Clack? Okay, I never uh, tested with more than one person. <laughs> <laughs> left click is to use the powers. Okay, dude. What? Okay, dude. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, left click is what now? Nah, it'll be oh shit. I'm out of yeah. speed, bro. Okay, if you fall, press R. If you Whoa. fall, press R. R. Oh my god. What Yo, the no, fuck was that? On each other, man. Yo, let me respond first, okay? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> we gotta do an order. Yo, who okay, I, who respawns first? I serve. One at a time. What? Good Dude, bad. Bonnie, I was no, killing it, and I like, I like, fell off. Okay, no, no one press it. <laughs> Stop <laughs> pressing. <laughs> no, oh, you're pressing, it, man. You're it's pressing. So it. mean. Bro, why did I fall off the ground just now? Game feature. I'm coming, Bonnie. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, oh Goose no. is, Wait, Goose I, is I pumping. <laughs> why is this Sylvanas cleaning the floor? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Drive safe, drive safe. Don't hit each other. Don't fucking yeah, jump. Yeah, yeah. Don't fucking jump. Slow and steady, Holy slow and steady. Shit. Pony, yeah, I can't turn. Down. Can my car jump down. Jump down. Pony, I hit you how, long, how long did you take making this game? Uh, about a week. This is what Torgas could have been. Yo, I'm having a lot of fun, actually. This is a really good Yo, game. Yo, Pony, how, how do I turn my car? Maybe three laps was too much. <laughs> think? We have three laps? Wait, have yeah. you guys completed the lap yet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone completed a lap at all? Yeah. No. Except Bonnie. Would you rather do this or the real Torghast? Honestly, the real Torghast. <laughs> 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 no. oh, I'm gonna help you, I'm gonna help you, I'm gonna help you. Wait, wait, who's this? Yo, yo, I help, yo, help. Yo, oh, no, 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 no help, no help, no help. Dude, this kind of gets your uh, pressure, uh, blood pressure up this game, actually, sometimes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, it's good for the hormones, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, more testosterone, sure. Yeah. No. I'm oh. falling right now. Oh. 
Wait, Bo Bonnie. Bo Bo Bonnie won. Wait, we're done. I guess I won. Honestly, really good game, Thank Bonnie. You. I think this is your best game yet. Really? I think so too. I this like might this. be the best one. Wow, thank you. And that was the project. This was definitely by far the most frustrating one I've done so far because of all the replication issues, the lack of prediction on vehicles, making it kind of hard to steer, not very good for a you know, racing game. But uh, I guess at the end of the day, it was a Torga simulation and it wasn't supposed to be fun. It was supposed to be miserable and frustrating. So actually job well done. Yeah, I think it, it turned out great. And with this, we can finally put Torghast behind us. We're finally free. I paid my tributes. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.